Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. The first time that I ever saw a band t-shirt was in middle school. A kid was wearing a Cheap Trick shirt. I wasn't into music yet, and I'd never heard of Cheap Trick. I told the kid it really was a cheap trick with all those words smeared down the shirt. But I wasn't clueless for very long. Pretty soon I got into music myself, and I wanted my own shirts to show off what bands I was a fan of. My parents couldn't afford to buy me any music t-shirts, so I did what I always did when I couldn't get something. I made my own. I wore this homemade Twisted Sister shirt a lot. I made it in February 1985. I don't think the insignia looked that great, but I didn't care. I wore it in all of the homemade Twisted Sister videos that I made, too, so it got lots of use. I haven't seen it in close to 30 years, but my mom said that she thinks it still exists. In November of 1985, I got my first real music t-shirt. I got this Nazareth shirt, secondhand, from a rummage sale. I didn't really like Nazareth that much, but I was still excited to finally have a band t-shirt. I wore it on into the late 80s and still wore it to my live performances in the early 90s. And I still have it. It's held up pretty well. About a month later, in December of 1985, I got another used shirt, and I was really excited about this one. I loved the band Rush, so it was a shirt dream come true. It just had their name written on it, and it must have been from the early 80s. I wore it in almost every homemade Rush music video that I made. I don't know what happened to that shirt. The last time I saw it was in this music video that I made in July of 1988. By now, I had realized that every music shirt I got was going to be secondhand. I couldn't complain. I mean, I could have, but it wouldn't have done me any good. In February 1986, I got an Iron Maiden Number of the Beast shirt. So, of course, the first thing that I did was make my own homemade music video for the song while wearing it. I wore that shirt for a few years. The last time I remember seeing it was in this photo from October of 1987. Years later, I got this Can I Play With Madness shirt that I still have. In October of 1988, I got this Joan Jett shirt. There's a lot of footage of me wearing it from back then. I still have this one. It's not in the best shape, but it still fits. The first music shirt that I ever got new was this Ramon shirt. My sister gave it to me for my 18th birthday. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. Our washing machine destroyed it in early 1991. But my sister gave me some of her Ramon shirts. I remember wearing this one in high school. Some clueless girl read the back, Ramones Live 1988. She had no idea who the Ramones were. Then there was this one with the lyrics to I want to be well on the front and hey ho, let's go on the back. And this one with the Rocket to Russia album cover. This is my favorite one though. It's the rare Richie shirt. Richie was only in the band from 1983 until 1987, so it's a lot harder to find now. I still wear it on very special occasions. And then it was back to getting used shirts. In early 1989, I got a Billy Joel 1986 The Bridge tour shirt. I still have it, and it's still Billy Joel to me. In the fall of 1989, I started wearing this very generic ACDC shirt. I thought it was hilarious it had this cartoonish skull on the sleeve. I don't have that one anymore. In late 1989, I got a shirt of the heavy metal band Crocus. It was the 1983 Eat the Rich tour design, and I wore it on Christmas Day. I still have it. Maybe I should wear it this Christmas. By this time, I had a job, so I started buying shirts of bands that I was a fan of. I got this King Missile shirt in March of 1990 when I opened for them. I looked pretty good in that one. Then I got this Happy Flower shirt in April of 1990. I actually have some footage of me showing it off when I got it. Did you see my new Happy Flower shirt? Oh, you did. It says Happy Flowers. And it's got from there. On the back, it says I Crush Bozo, which is the name of one of their classic albums. I went to see one of my favorite early 90s bands, Scrawl, who are from Columbus, Ohio. I have two of their shirts from 1990. One day, around that time, our local record store was giving away a free shirt with any purchase. I sifted through the garbage bags of shirts and came up with this vintage residence shirt from their 13th anniversary tour. In 1991, I got this 1989 Elvis Costello tour shirt. Here's a photo where I'm wearing it. I also bought some Daniel Johnston shirts in 1989. I still have my Hi How Are You shirt, which some of you may have seen me wear in the Weird Paul documentary. I also have this Yip Jump Music shirt, and this Rejected Unknown shirt. 
I also had two ZZ Top shirts that I got long after they were made in 1985. That's when their album Afterburner came out, and I still have this shirt. The other one was a 1986 tour shirt with the Egyptian Pharaoh imagery on it. I wore that one at work until it fell apart. Let's take a quick look at the rest of the music shirts that I got from the 90s until now. Moto are one of my all-time favorite bands that I've seen a number of times. The punk band The Scary Tweezers sent me this shirt in the early 90s, and as you could probably tell, I wore it a lot. Here's two shirts I don't have anymore, King Kong and the Angry Samoans. I loved wearing that one. I went to see the punk rock band Tilt around the year 2000, not long before they broke up. I got in for free because unfortunately they were about to begin their last song. So I used my money to buy this shirt. It says Loser 13 on the back. Here's a photo of me wearing it back then. I'm very drunk. Here's shirts by the local Pittsburgh bands Salt Chunk Mary, Microwaves, The Great Ants, and SFX. I wore this Hanson shirt once as a joke. Here's a great vintage Devo New Traditionalist shirt from 1981. I wore it when I saw them live in 2013. Cub were an excellent Canadian cuddlecore band from the 1990s. I got this Lou Barlow shirt by trading for it with the man himself back in 2002. I bought this Beatles shirt at Target maybe a little less than 10 years ago. The latest shirts I've gotten are Michael Jackson's Thriller, ACDC's Highway to Hell, and this volume and shirt that was sent to me by Shane Hickey, who has also started a Weird Paul cover band called the Paulettes. And of course, these Weird Paul shirts are now available on my website. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my music shirts today. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.